What's up everybody, this is MMA Rants, and I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody that's been leaving me thumbs up, sharing my videos, leaving comments. Also, there's a link in the description to my Facebook page. Hit me up on Facebook, and we'll, let's be friends on Facebook. And if you're not a subscriber right now, and you're listening to my channel, subscribe. Now on with the video. This video that I'm posting today, it's been rumored, speculated, that Daniel Cormier, after an Instagram message that he put out today, may be possibly retiring after UFC 200. Me personally, I feel like Daniel Cormier's wide ass needs to definitely, 100%, not retire after UFC 200. I bet y'all thought I was going to say something different. But I feel like he should not definitely retire, okay? Now, first I'm going to do is I'm going to read the message that he put out, okay? And it goes like this. He wrote, sometime in life, you are lucky enough to meet a person that is just good all the way to the core. It's this guy. We have been through so much. This pick was taken in 2011 in Chicago, and my biggest dream was to be at Strike Force Champion. Well, at Crazy Bob Cook, we have come a long way, buddy. July 9th, we complete the journey. Thanks for being part, a great manager, I'm sorry, coach, friend, and now business partner. From Strike Force to XMMA to King of the Cage to the At UFC, it's been a fun ride. Thanks for guiding me the whole time. DC, he wrote. That is what he wrote. Okay? So, I'm looking at that and I'm like, you know what? Me reading that, I don't think that's Daniel Cormier. And this is me personally. This is my perspective, okay? I feel like Daniel Cormier is not talking about him retiring. I think he may be possibly talking about Bob Cook re retiring. That's how I feel when I read this message that he wrote on Instagram, okay? Now, if you look at this part of the message, listen to what he said. Thanks for being a great manager, coach, friend, and now business partner, okay? So it seems like Bob Cook is leaving the... the um, MMA realm alone he's going to go into some business ventures with Daniel Cormier now we all do know that Daniel Cormier will be retiring a lot sooner than later because he is 37 years old you know he's getting older he's getting at the stage in the game to where he is so competitive that he will not stick around if he's not a winner or a champion you know so he's getting close to that that stage nobody can beat father time Daniel Cormier will definitely not be father time. As of right now, Daniel Cormier's wide hit ass is doing great. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. And he's on top of the world right now, okay? Now, a lot of people are saying, hey, Daniel Cormier, once he gets his ass whooped at UFC 200, what else is left for him to do? Well, me personally, I don't know if he'll lose at UFC 200, you know? He may, he may not. I think More so likely, I think he'll lose. Okay, but guess what? If Daniel Cormier loses at UFC 200, he should not retire at all. You know what he should do? And this is my perspective, y'all. I feel like Daniel Cormier should definitely step up to that heavyweight um, division. I think Cain Velasquez right now, he doesn't have to worry about fighting Cain at all. I feel like if Daniel Cormier went up to heavyweight, I think he would probably get an immediate title shot or maybe have to fight one fight before getting a title shot. And also, I look at this. I look at the landscape of the divisions. Daniel Cormier is in a division right now where a lot of the fighters that are underneath him are younger. So as him getting older, he's going to be bound to start losing fights in that light heavyweight division. Now, the heavyweight division, on the other hand, is a division full of older fighters. And a lot of those fighters, he's already beaten. And he's beaten them in um, spectacular fashion. So with the heavyweight division being a, being a old division right now, I feel like Daniel Cormier could go up to heavyweight, definitely compete for the heavyweight championship belt, and I think he would have a good chance of beating Fabricio Verdun. And speaking of Fabricio Verdun, I am going to post a video later on his title fight at UFC 198. So stay tuned for that, y'all. But that's my feeling on Daniel Cormier possibly retiring. That is my rant on Daniel Cormier's Popeye chicken eating ass. I had to get that out there. And y'all, let me know what y'all think. I believe Daniel Cormier is not retiring, and I feel like he shouldn't retire. 
And I feel like he should go up to heavyweight after this fight with Daniel Cormier, what I mean with John Jones, whether he wins or lose. That's how I feel on that. Now if he wins, stay down there until you lose your belt. But if he loses, go up to heavyweight. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this topic. Let me know if y'all think Daniel Cormier is going to retire after UFC 200 or also if he should go up to heavyweight. Thanks for listening to my video. Hit me with the thumbs up. Share my video. Subscribe. Until next time.